Welcome back parents to our series about what kids need to succeed. We've been going through this book and we've been talking about developmental assets and things that you can do to equip your child to help them succeed later in life. And I say it almost every video, but I just want to say it again that just because your child is lacking one or a couple developmental assets does not mean that they are going to be crippled and succeeding later in life. You only need about 30 of the 40 developmental assets for a really good shot at being successful. But today we've been going through talking about boundaries and different types of boundaries and what those look like for developmental assets. And today the boundary we're going to be talking about, or really it's an expectation, is adult role models. And this is where parents and other adults model positive, responsible behavior. And what's shocking about this specific developmental asset is that of the 30 or 3,000 or 3 million, I'm sorry, 3 million young people that they interviewed across the United States, only 28% of those 3 million had this developmental asset. So this might be a really great tool if you feel like you were also a great role model, your kid has a great role model already, this would be a great time for you to be a role model and give this developmental asset to other people's children. So what is adult role models and how does that look as a developmental asset? Um, one of them is always remember that you are your child's most important role model. Set high standards for yourself and follow them, even during the difficult times. And when your child sees that you set yourself high standards and you have expectations on yourself and you go and you even, even if you fail, but you still try to meet those expectations, that encourages the child to then set high expectations for themselves in the future. So it's really modeling good behavior for that. And even if you fail, it doesn't mean that you failed your child because you failed to meet your expectation or your responsibility. It just shows that your child, that you are human too, and it provides an opportunity for you to be able to teach your child what to do when the expectation isn't met or when they miss the mark. So be involved in your child's life on a daily basis. Spend time together often, take advantage of the teachable moments that happen during everyday life, and invite discussion and learn about positive and responsible behavior. Uh, this is harder and harder as the child gets older, especially when you get into the teen years and the child wants more sense of independence. And there, for every family it's different, but there is a, a point where you can respect the child's independence and give them that responsibility and independence, but at the same time being the role model and expecting boundaries and expectations to happen. Where does that happen with your family? That's what you need to take the time and figure out. Maybe that takes time sitting down with your teenager or your older children saying like, all right, this is where the boundaries are. This is the non-negotiables. This is where uh, we're willing to give you responsibility and really be clear about what is and isn't expected. Uh, talk to your children about adults they know who are positive role models. Find ways to build and strengthen those relationships. If your child has a really strong uh, role model or strong relationship with their gym teacher or their history teacher or something like that, and you, you find about that talking to your child, uh, look for ways to help strengthen the relationship not just between you and that teacher but the child and that teacher so that that model that healthy role model is strengthened even further in that child's life talk to your children about your own role models when you were a teenager when you were a child what were your role models who are the people that you looked up to that helped molded you that gave you healthy positive characteristics talk to your child about that help them process it um who were they when did they happen uh, how were they a good role model for you it helps the child be able to envision and to be able to see what a good healthy role model looks like when they see that the ones see the ones that were in your life and you know, talk honestly about the issues when you or another adult lets your child down. You don't need to sugarcoat or uh, reflect or deflect around the issue. Just talk openly and honestly, honestly with the child about, hey, you know what? We're all human. We're all gonna let someone. Everyone's going to get, let someone down eventually. You're going to get let down by someone eventually. And so what does that look like? How do you handle that? How do you move forward? Uh, what boundaries do you set in place afterwards? Or where does forgiveness take place? All of that jazz. Just have an honest, open conversation with your child. So thank you everyone for joining me today. I hope that you got something from this. We have plenty of other videos out. If you want to look at our previous videos on developmental assets and what it looks like for giving your developmental assets to your children, go ahead and check those out. I appreciate all of you and I hope to see you again next week.